Hello guys, it is Friday and I know I said I was going to do stuff upstairs but it is actually a beautiful January day. For the first week in January it's like almost mid 40s. Can't be that. I got to try to get some stuff done outside. I'm going to try to get some leaves on now so I don't have to do them or not have to do as much in the spring. So come join us, won't you? Now, as you guys that have watched this channel before know, my leaf vacuum and shredder took a crap. I mean, it served its purpose, it served its time, it did really good. Uh, it was a really good leaf blower shredder vac, but now I don't have one. But do you also know, if you watch this channel, that I went out on Black Friday and purchased a new one. So here it is. So on Black Friday, I went out to Home Depot and we bought this Toro Ultra Electric Blower Vacuum and Mulcher. Uh, it blows up to 340 cubic feet per minute and up to uh, 260 miles per hour. It vacuums up to 405 cubic feet per minute uh, and mulches uh, stuff down with that uh, metal propeller. Up to 88%. So we're going to see how it goes. We're going to try it out. We're going to unbox it. We'll let you know what I think about it. So let's bust into this. So I got the box opened up and I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. Uh, we have the vacuum parts. We have blower parts. We have more vacuum parts. We have the bag, a nice Toro bag. Uh, I'll have to figure out what this is. And then we have the, oh, oh, can I do it with one hand? Oh, and maybe, oh. We have the unit itself in this bag. I'll bag that here in a minute. Ooh. And what else we got down there? Uh, handle, maybe? And of course the instructions. And that's it. So let's get this thing assembled. I'm going to assemble it in the blower mode first, and then we'll switch it over to the vacuum mode. We'll show you both. So it looks like the blower is pretty easy to put together. This just slides on there and pushes in, and there's a warning on the power to install the guard underneath before you use it. So let's go do that real quick. So obviously the bottom is exposed if you're mulching and vacuuming leaves, but you want that covered up, and it does come with this cover. Now it looks like this just clips on this end and clips into that end, that simple. Well, that's good to know. Now I think we're ready to power up and see how good it blows. So as it's sitting on the ground, let's just turn it on and see how it does. Sounds pretty powerful, that's low. It's a variable speed. All the way up to max. So let's see how good this blows. So I got this cranked up full speed. And let's blow some wet leaves, see how it does. Again, these are wet leaves, so they're gonna be harder to blow. But it still has some power. It's still blowing pretty good. Imagine dry leaves. They blow that much better. this blue piece to the end of the blower and all that is is a cord wrapper it helps you wrap your cord up so you don't have to wrap your cord up separately I'll probably never use that I wrap my cords up separately and hang them in the garage separately but it's a good option if you need it now to convert it to a blower you simply take this off take that off and install these two pieces so let me do that real quick for you a little clip here at the end Hold this on, see if I can do it one-handed. This comes right off, 
when that comes right off, you could take this, sorry it's blurry, and this slides right off. Now to add the vacuum part on, again see if I can do this one handed, I don't know. This simply clips on to this end and snaps in on this end, which I need two hands to do. Now at this point you do have a shredder slash vacuum. Uh, you could choose not to put the bag on it. Simply turn it on and start shooting leaves out, which in some cases I actually do. I do do that every now and then, especially back towards the woods. When I don't need a bag, I can just shoot them right into woods. Most cases, I'm going to want to use the vacuum bag. So let me put the bag on there right now. Now with that bag that just clips right into here, you could store a lot of leaves. It says it shreds them up to 88%. We'll see. It also comes with a strap, uh, a shoulder strap, which will help support the bag. Uh, I'm going to put this to the test, use a little bit. I can't film myself using it and use it at the same time so let me use it a little bit and i'll get back to you and tell you how it, what i think about it So to empty it, the bag unzips at the bottom. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, definitely uh, ground up. Yeah, not uh, bad. We did not have to empty this bag. We could have kept going. And we did a pretty heavy part of the porch. My wife I just got came home and just grabbed it and started going. Uh, what do you think? I like it, it was fun. What about compared to the other one? I don't like how the cork comes out the front. I don't like that either. It gets in the way. But other than that, it Super yeah. easy to use. And we put it through some like wet leaves. Yeah, we Normally did. I wouldn't like vacuum up wet leaves like that, but I kind of wanted to give it a real test. Uh, mainly for this review. Uh, we had, what did we have before? A works. A works. Yeah. And I liked it. It wasn't bad, yeah. I think this one's a little bit better. I, I do like this In one my opinion. Uh, I'm going to keep going and, you know, use it a couple times, empty bag, uh, see how heavy it gets on my shoulder, stuff like that, and then we'll come back and let you know our final thoughts on the Toro vacuum blower shredder thing. Thing. <laughs> da -da -da. Tell you what, it did a really good job on the driveway. I did get into some of the thicker, heavier, wetter leaves. It did jam up, but these leaves were really thick and really wet. I probably shouldn't even uh, try to suck them up. But I just wanted to see what it would do. In my opinion, it is a great, I mean great, uh, vacuum shredder. 99% of the time I'm going to use it for a vacuum shredder. The rest, you know, the 1% as an actual blower. But, I mean, it does a really good job shredding the leaves. It, you know, here's a couple cons. It does get heavy. That's because it's shredding the leaves so much, it really starts to weigh your arm down. But if you just adjust the strap, throw it over your shoulder, and I kind of adjust how you hold it, and I'll show you that position in a minute. It really takes the pressure off your shoulder and really makes it comfortable to hold. Uh, I'll, let, I'll show you how I was holding it here in a second. I'll let Kristen film me holding it so you get an idea. So I was vacuuming pretty straight up, uh, hands, you know, here and here, 
sucking up stuff, it really started to weigh heavy on my arm because I'm holding the whole weight of this. I found that if you put the pressure on the strap and just kind of tilt it back a little bit, you can vacuum either one-handed like this very easily or one-handed like this very easily. So that may be a hint, you don't always have to go straight up. In fact, I wouldn't suggest it. I'd go at a little angle and vacuum. But all in all, I like it. Uh, you used it a little bit. How did you like it? I did. I really liked it. I thought it was lighter than the other one we had. It is lighter, but when you do an entire driveway, and after, you know, I was out here doing it for about a half hour, well, actually more like an hour, it starts to weigh a little bit on you. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, but doing this, putting your weight on the strap on his shoulder, it really helped. And apparently our time is up because the light went out. <laughs> Uh, we'll do closing remarks here in a second. Another convenient thing I just kind of figured out is if you actually take your time, put everything back in the box in a fairly organized manner, I mean, I could even fit, fit that chute in there if I wanted to. It all goes right back in a box for easy storage and doesn't take up a lot of room at all, which I really like because most of the time I'll sit there, but when I'm not there, I could put it in the shed up on a shelf and take up no space at all. Another great feature about this. Well guys, there you go. A fair, honest review of the Toro leaf blower vacuum shredder. Uh, some pros, some cons, uh, some comparisons against the Works. Uh, I do think the Toro is better than the Works. I mean, the Works did its job for several, several years. We put that through uh, everything and it, it held its ground. Finally wore out, so we bought this Toro on sale. You can't find it on sale. It's a great deal if you do find it on sale. I recommend it. Uh, and that's all you know I really have to say hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up uh, Don't forget to subscribe for this channel for daily vlogs and reviews like this video and thanks for watching bye <music>